channel beautiful beautiful people this is the daily update and as you can see i did a little bit of harvesting and the lettuce is here so if i can get in there i'll show you maybe not but as you can see Right down there, you can see the cuttings where I harvest. So I just took the outside pieces and I harvest. I did the same over here and then some over here as well. All right, so we would be looking at day 35. So we are a full five weeks on our herbs. I also did some harvesting on the dill. As you can see, get in here as you can see right here is where I would have harvest and right here is where I would have harvest so I cut right off there and I left a third of that plant and I did that all around okay and we got more growing in there so full five weeks on the uh, herbs and unfortunately I had that same electrical issue so I had to Chained out the lettuce system today as well um, to a new system. They sent me a new system. So I don't know. Um, hopefully it won't happen in these guys. If it happens in these guys, then I don't know how I feel. Or I guess I will know how I feel about I do. But we're looking at 33 on lettuce. And then day... Twenty-seven on the cherry tomatoes. Twenty-seven or twenty-eight. I'll put it in the description. Sorry, guys. I should should know that for you. But um, growing really well, anyways. So this is what's happening. There's the harvest, and as you can see, what I did when I cleaned out the systems and changed out the systems is. Just so that there's not algae in the ones that didn't make it, that didn't start sprouting, didn't grow, I went ahead and I threw the baskets away and I threw the sponges away. I put a new basket in and I covered it. So this is just a new basket, no sponge, and I covered it with some aluminum foil. And I did that over here and those two as well move things around so that there's growing room. So if things look different, if you remember how they were set up, they are different. I moved them around just so there was more growing room. Here's uh, our transplants. Everything is just doing really well, especially this basil. I mean, this basil is just really growing. Um, everything just doing really well okay and then here is our tomatoes that I have in the system okay and then here is our lettuces so this will definitely be the second harvest I'll go along with the second harvest and these up here again since I cut them the way that I did around the sides, I did a cut and come again method for harvesting. So I'll be able to cut these and you can already see new growing inside. So I'll be able to harvest those for at least, well, I could harvest right now more leaves um, uh, around the side if I wanted to, um, but then at least one more, one more harvest for those. So let's just take a peek down here real quick. Look at our bedding method. I mean, look at that. Just really great. That's the one without the rock wool. Okay. That's the there's the uh, lettuce soil transplants. Again, doing really well. 
Those herbs, I think we're gonna go ahead and transplant into bigger bigger pots because, yeah, things are going really good with those as well. There's some more um, of the starts that I did. Some babies down there. Here's the grow big experiment. So basically everything's the same as it was yesterday with the grow big experiment. And then here's some um, spinach that as soon as I start to see roots on the bottom, I will start to get those in containers as soon as I can get the containers. But so I'll definitely be doing some transplanting of the soil, hopefully get some more containers going, all that. All right guys, thanks for checking in for the daily update. I can't believe we're at five weeks. It's crazy. And look at, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful plants. Even though the systems malfunctioned, we still saved them. Both of these systems have now malfunctioned, but they sent me a new one right away for each of them. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care.